Today, we're going to be putting Pele in the Haaland and Mbappe era on FIFA and see who wins the most trophies. And we're going to be simming 10 seasons. At the end of every season, we're going to check on Haaland, Mbappe and Pele and see how many trophies they won. We're going to keep a trophy counter and see who comes out on top. And now you might be wondering, why is Pele at Barcelona? Well, of course, Santos is in the game and Pele, after doing some research online, said he'd start his career at Barcelona if he was playing today. But let's start this off in season one. We chose Brentford again. I don't want to choose a team that could possibly buy Pele or Haaland or Mbappe. We're going to start, we're going to sim, we're going to check every trophy and of course we're going to be checking the Ballon d'Or. Now here we go the first Ballon d'Or winner is going to be Mbappe okay so Mbappe wins the first trophy. Okay so Haaland only with the one trophy this season finishing fourth in the Prem but we do pick up the Carabao Cup. And now checking in on Pele he did pick up one trophy this season the Super Copa. And now time for Mbappe he's already won the Ballon d'Or and now winning League One. And not only that his third trophy comes in the French Cup and then he gets his fourth trophy by winning the Champions League. Okay so what a first season that was all players picking up a trophy but Mbappe picking up four. And so right now in season two I'm just simming to the end of the transfer window just to see if any players do make a transfer and now at the end of the window no players make a transfer which is fine let's find out who won the Ballon d'Or in season two okay interesting that Haaland isn't even in debate for this Ballon d'Or Pele's in there Mbappe's in there but no Haaland but here we go let's find out who won the Ballon d'Or Mbappe or Pele or could it be someone else Mbappe of course it is once again picking up another trophy and now for the end of the season starting off with Haaland he does go ahead and pick up the Premier League and not only the Premier League does pick up the Carabao Cup as well with a 3-1 win and now for checking Pele he does go ahead and win the Supercopa once again with Barcelona and not only the Supercopa, he does pick up the Copa del Rey as well, making his trophies now a total of three. And now for Mbappe, only the one trophy at the end of the season, the French Cup in the league, they finished in second place. And so once again, another interesting season, but now into season three, I want to see if any of these players do make a move. Okay, so once again, no transfers have been made, all players happy at their respective clubs, but when you look at the transfer values, they're going to take a special offer to sign one of them. And now this season, Mbappe isn't actually in the running for the Ballon d'Or, so it could be Haaland, or it could be Pele, or someone else. Okay, here we go, let's find out the winner. Okay. Okay, goes to Vinicius Junior. So neither Pele or Haaland have won a Ballon d'Or yet. And now at the end of season three, let's check on Haaland. The first and only trophy he won this season was the FA Cup. Okay, so for Pele, picking up another Super Copa so far, they've won it every season. And the second trophy he wins, actually the Europa League, getting a 4-1 win. And now finally, Mbappe, of course, wasn't in the Ballon d'Or contenders, but does win League One. And that's not the only trophies. He does pick up the French Cup as well with a 1-0 win. And now we move on into season four. Interesting last season that Haaland or Pele didn't win the Ballon d'Or. Surely one of them have got to win it soon. And just like we normally do, checking in any transfers, no transfers at all. What Pelé have noticed, 700k a week. Mbappe's on 400k, Haaland on 460. And now for season four's Ballon d'Or winner, let's find out. And it goes through Mbappe once again. Okay, so Pelé and Haaland are right behind in the Ballon d'Or list. And now at the end of season four, Haaland once again only the one trophy. And now for Pelé, he starts off really well by winning La Liga. And then he goes on to win the Supercopa as well with a 3-2 win. And he also picks up the Copa del Rey with a 3-1 win in the final. And now for Mbappe, he does go ahead and win the League One title and 99 points. And that's not the only trophies. He picks up his second one with a 3-1 win. And now here we are then into season five. And one thing I noticed straight away, Pele is now 99 rated. And look at his wage, 1.1 million. He's still got a release clause, but no one has paid it yet. And yeah, as expected, end of the transfer window, no player has made a move from their clubs. And now just checking who's going to be in the Ballon d'Or contender list. Mbappe and Pele are both there. No sign of Haaland. But here we go in season five's Ballon d'Or winner. And it's going to be Pele. Finally, Pele does win himself. A Ballon d'Or is about time. And so still no Ballon d'Or for Haaland but he does go ahead and pick up the Premier League title. And not just that, he picks up the FA Cup as well getting a 3-1 win. And now for Pele, after already picking up the Ballon d'Or, he picks up another one by winning La Liga on 77 points. Okay, so not a great season for Mbappe. No Ballon d'Or, no league win and also no French Cup win either. And now here we are then into season 6. Could we see Haaland possibly win his first Ballon d'Or this season? And now at the end of the window, no players have made a transfer. One thing I've noticed, they are getting offered new deals. Haaland now 480k, Mbappe now 420 well, let's check out the contenders for the Ballon d'Or this season. And okay, Haaland and Pele, no Mbappe once again. But here we go. Let's find out. Could Haaland get his first Ballon d'Or win? And it is. There we go. Haaland finally gets himself a Ballon d'Or trophy. And now Haaland, we've seen, did win the Ballon d'Or. However, that was the only trophy he won this season. And now for Pele, he starts things off by winning the league on 80 points, one point ahead of Real Madrid. And it continues on as they go ahead and win the Supercopa once again with a 2-1 win. And that's not the only trophy. The final one beating Bayern in the final of Champions League on penalties. And now Mbappe, not not nominated for the Ballon d'Or, but he does pick up the league title, of course, on 89 points. And he also picks up the Europa League, as we've seen last season, PSG did finish in fourth. And here we are then at the start of season seven, and we've seen a lot of players grow. Haaland now 99 rated, of course, won the Ballon d'Or last season, and Mbappe 98 rated. Just checking at the end of the window, all players remain at their clubs. However, Haaland now is on 1.2 million a week. Pele is on the same. Mbappe currently on 500k. Okay, is this the first time we've seen all three players nominated for the Ballon d'Or? Be interesting to see who does go ahead 
and win it. And now I'm excited to see who comes out on top in this Ballon d'Or list. Imagine none of them win this. And it goes to Haaland. Okay, this guy is starting to turn up now. That's his second Ballon d'Or. So trophies then starting off with a Ballon d'Or winner, Haaland. The only trophy he won was the Champions League 1 0 win. And now for Pele, the first trophy he wins is La Liga on 83 points. Well, he does win his second trophy, the Supercopa, once again. His favourite trophies to win, he wins it 3 1. And now for Mbappe this season, only the one trophy winning League 1. It's going to be interesting to see how Mbappe and Haaland fare out in the league. They could both affect each other in terms of winning trophies. Pele is still at Barcelona, but we could still see another transfer. And now let's find out Season 8's Ballon d'Or winner. Could it be Haaland once again? And it goes to... Okay, Pele. So he wins another Ballon d'Or. That's his second one. And of course, starting off end of season, Haaland does go ahead and pick up the Super Cup. And not only that, he picks up the Champions League as well, getting a free to win over PSG. And now for Mbappe, who wasn't actually nominated for Ballon d'Or this year, does win the Premier League though in his first season on 82 points. And now Pele, of course, already winning the Ballon d'Or, does pick up La Liga on 83 points, so a second trophy for him. And now for the start of Season 9, only two seasons to go, and we see Pele make the move to Chelsea. So all players now in the Premier League, this is going to be interesting, two seasons, who will come out on top? And now for the second to last Ballon d'Or winner, who's it going to be? Erling Haaland. Okay, so he's the only player to win three Ballon d'Ors. And now here we are then, end of Season 9, of course, all players are now playing in the Premier League, but Haaland comes out on top with the title. But after Pele's move to Chelsea, he does win a trophy, actually, the FA Cup, getting a 2-1 win. But there's no trophies for Mbappe this season. Did make the final of the Carabao Cup, but Liverpool got the win. But here we are then into the final season. One thing to note, Mbappe now 97 rated, but Haaland and Pele both still 99. But now let's find out in our 10th season who wins the Ballon d'Or. And it goes to... Okay, Haaland once again. This guy didn't win any, and then all of a sudden seems to be winning every single one. And so starting off with the Premier League then, Pele does go ahead and pick up this trophy on 82 points. And Pele isn't the only player to win a trophy this season. Haaland wins one as well in the Europa League, getting a 2-0 win. Unfortunately, for Mbappe, the closest he came was the quarterfinals FA Cup where Pele knocked him out. But there we go, in the 10th season has been wrapped up now on screen. We've got the totals of how many trophies Pele, Mbappe and Haaland have won. And now if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop me a like down below, hit the subscribe button and also press the video on screen if you want to see me return Messi back to Barcelona.